Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a build update and a how to do a wash using Tamiya's acrylic paint and water. And I'll show you how easy this is and how good it works. So this is an update, I guess this would be update number seven of the uh, 68 Dodge Dart Hemi two-in-one kit. Love this kit. So let me get the guys out of the way here right now. And we'll jump into this because it's it's a blast to do. It's super simple. And if you have the Tamiya paints, or or really, I say Tamiya paints, that's because that's all I used. I've never used any other paints to try this. So if you want to try other kinds of paints, go ahead. But be warned that these are the only ones that I have used. So let's start with the chair or the front seat and Tamiya's XF64. I'm using Tamiya's XF64 because I like the contrast between it and the uh, Tamiya's Dark Yellow XF60. This is called Red Brown. This is Dark Yellow. So I already mixed this very well, but you know me, I still have to give it a shake. And all we need is we need the paint. We need, I like these, wa these uh, water bottle caps, the clear ones I like a lot for doing my wash. But we need that, and we need a whole crap load of Q-tips. I am not shy with Q-tips because I can get them at the dollar store for pretty darn cheap. And we need some fresh water. So let's take an amount of paint use a little bit more because I got a big wash to do here put the lid back on that because if not it'll look like the silver that I spilled all over the desk over here <laughs> and that's why I'm using the ugly the ugly uh, thing today the ugly uh, mat I just dip that in some water mixing it around dip it in a bunch more water Mix it around, and I think that's a little bit too thick still. So I'm gonna get another big glob of water in there. And there we go, that looks pretty good. Wipe a bunch of it off. I'm gonna do a little bit more water in there. And that, see, that's why I use the ugly mat. <laughs> but I think that's a good amount of water. And the way that hit the, the hit there, I like how it laid down. So, let's pull the chair over, pull the visor down, grab a couple of Q-tips for right off the rip, because this happens pretty quick. I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Get some on the brush and just run it in here. Make sure you get it in all the cracks. That's the biggest thing, because that's what we want. All right, now that looks pretty freaking good right now. If that was a Ford Pinto, I'd leave that alone. But come in, and I always go in the seam here first, and then I roll my brush or my Q-tip away. And if you look, I'm pulling off like 90% of it if not more. And if you're using oils, um, your mix will be, you know, just oil mix, but your um, technique will be the same. Time for a new Q-tip. Just come straight up, kind of roll it as I go. This white will have to be redone, but I think that's worth it. How simple is this? Go across the top there. This is where it pays to make sure you do a good sanding um, before. See how now I'm, I'm just smearing it? Another Q-tip, or right there. Come off, give it the roll. I'm gonna come down with it just cause it easier. Grab the other side. around even 
look and see how I got a little couple of schmutz marks. Let's get those out of there. Off the front. Grab another Q-tip to finish it out. How's that? I am happy with that. Almost. I got a Q-tip mark right there where I've touched them both. Come up. I don't want it perfect. I want it to look like it, this car's been driven. So we'll go with that. Look at how nice that came out. Beautiful. I kind of liked it with just leaving it alone, but um, I want the seats a lot lighter than that. All right, here's a before and after of how that wash looks. This is the one that I just did the wash on. This is the one that uh, I haven't touched yet. Notice the one thing is that white trim is gonna need to be touched up. Uh, I'll touch that up and then I'll hit the silver once more over the top of it, but not a big deal, it's easy to do. But I think it's worth, worse. I think, <laughs> I think it's worth the uh, trouble. I really do. There's that. Let's grab a door panel. And I can do a, a before and after on the door panel too. So I have mixed this in the water again, and that'll suck it up in there. Let's get some off. We don't want a, a gallon of it in there. And I'm going to go with the stripes. So just paint it on. Don't be shy. Get it in there. You want to get it in all those little nooks and crannies. Just like putting butter on a uh, English muffin. There we go. Now, let's grab 50 more of these. And I'm going to come down on it from the top. Start off with that chrome and that gold. Because that I don't want to have anything on that. I want perfectly clean there. The chrome, I'm going to clean that off too. Now, see I got a little bit on there that I don't want. A lot on there. See that? There we go. New Q-tip. Come down on it. Ooh, I added a lot in there. I'm going to come across this way to take a bunch out. I'm not rolling it, I'm just dragging it right now. Now we'll come down on it. And what I'm looking for here is just kind of wiping it off the flats. I mean, I want it to look nice. I don't want it to look like a beater car, but I want it to have those shades in there. And look at how well that did. See how I just went that way? I'm going to do it on the top, too, on both sides. Pull it out and then pull down. This bottom section, let me dry right there. Even though you probably will never see it, I'll know it's there. Now, look at that. Would that take all of a minute, maybe five at the most, count and set up? And check out the difference. It's like, holy slammer, man, that... That's huge difference, but that's the color I wanted is that that darker color. This this tan was really, really tan, and I wanted it to be more of a, a darker tan to go highlight that gold because I didn't want that gold to be in there to just kind of disappear in there. And now the gold really stands out. The tan really looks tan, especially against that. So I'm going to do one more thing. This is why I haven't put anything together yet. I'm going to do a quickie just on this because I want this to match everything. So here we go. And this is just for color matching. That's all. I, the only reason why I'm doing this. If I didn't, the colors... Um, would be would be drastically different so there we go with that clean q-tip 
and get almost all of this off of there. We're just darkening it up. Huge difference, man. Huge, huge, huge difference. This is fun to do. You just have to kind of keep moving. Because if you wait too long, it'll dry and it'll be not what you want. See there, like right underneath there. I want to do a little bit more. How's that? Up top. Now look, see there? That, that uh, darkened the tan up. A lot different. And it's it's the color I want. It's not it's not the very light tan. I love this color, but I like it. I wanted it to be darker than that, just to show up. Let's not forget the front of the ashtray here. Use a one that's got a little bit on it. There we go. There's the ashtray, the front. You see I added some ash to this. Um, and a few more cigarette butts. The ash I put in Mod Podge and then I scraped in a little bit of white and gray pastels in there. Let the Mod Podge dry and then added a few more, a little bit more Mod Podge here and there and a few more cigarette butts. But there's that. Let's keep moving. We already did a door panel. I won't bore you with the second. Let's do the back. And we're gonna have to be careful because I don't want it on the carpet. So we're going to start up top, just so I can get a feel for how the brush. I don't want it on the panel on the back either. So we're going to go a little bit um, more nervous Nelly-like on this one. Come across this like this. I'll give it a nice look, and then I'm just going to barely come down here, make sure that I'm on the thing here, and I'm going to come across. This will this will um, tan it, but it won't uh, let it go down right away. I'm going to come and do this section first, so that I don't accidentally brush something into the carpet. There we go. Now we can rock and roll. I'm going to come across. I missed a little bit up here. I'm going to come across here. Um, the nice thing about using the acrylics is if they dry on you, you can come over them with water and it'll break them loose again. I'm going against the grain here. A little bit on the top. And I'm going to come down. Just sucking up a bunch because I did put a bunch on there. new q-tip time and now we'll get serious with it see how that makes that ring across the top i don't want that line so i'll pull that line now see wet the q-tip just a little bit and i can dig in there a little bit harder and get it to where i want it that dried on me a little bit more than I wanted. But that's okay. It's not something that's not recoverable. Another Q-tip. I told you I use a bunch of them. Still try to remember to rotate as you go so you don't get a full Q-tip in there. My shop is extremely dry today. Dried out here. Like that. See, now I, I pretty dark down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Q-tip and I'm going to get it wet, squeeze it a little bit with my finger, and we're going to go over and wet this back up like this. I'm glad this happened, honestly, because I'll show you. You can recover from it drying out like that. It is not a loss. 
There's no reason to be like, oh, I gotta repaint it. Nope, just get it wet again with some good old fashioned lake water. Rub it back out, there we go, nice. Hit this right in here, a little bit. Here, bring that white back out just a little bit. I'll still touch that up. Right there, I got a nice line. See there? Oils don't dry this fast. But if you're limited in, in funding, <laughs> I know oils aren't that cheap or that expensive, but I don't have them. Hey, my laundry's done again. Now I'm happy with that. That looks great. Check it out. Get it out of the glare of the light and you'll be able to really see those lines. How about that, guys? Easy peasy. Now here, I'll do this real quick. Since I don't need that holder anymore. Come in here. This out of the way. How nice that back came out. <laughs> and check out how good that's going to look with that lighter tan carpet. And I'm looking for contrast. This is lighter than this, is lighter than that, and all that. You know what I can do though? Let's get a. We still got the brown. Let's grab a different brush. I'm gonna throw this in the water real quick. And I'm gonna grab a smaller, more intricate brush. And I'm gonna get a Q-tip or two ready right now. I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna do inside our uh, speaker. Grill. And I'm doing this like panel liner right now. Because I like the way this is filling in. I like the way the color's going. And I want to leave it just like this. Nice. I got a little bit of high spots on there. Now I'm just going to dab this. Check it out. Look at the difference between the two. Would that take me a minute and a half? Easy stuff with paint that I already had on hand um, and a little bit of water. You can put um, the retarder in there, which will give it a little bit longer dry time. And the way my uh, dehumidifier isn't really running today, I should have done that. But I didn't. And that's why I had to struggle just a little bit with that back seat. But shoot, that back seat came out. It looks like flipping leather. Clean, clean Q-tip, dab. And the reason why I'm dabbing is because I don't want to smear that out of the, uh, onto the deck. I want that deck to be different than that. Everything contrasts. So there we go. <sighs> Quick and easy. We got 18 minutes into doing a seat, a door panel. Man, that door panel looks good now. Look at how it dried. Beautiful. I got the got the gold. I got the chrome. I got this chrome all. See, it still looks fantastic. And then we have all this that really shows up now. The door line, the, the pleats, everything just jumps at you. And it's easy to do. So I'm going to let you go at 20 minutes here. I got another seat. I got another door panel. And that's it. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you, I gave you something to try. And you all have a great week. I'll talk to you later.